there might be some people out there who are fine with it. I ain't the one. Okay. <laughs> I ain't the one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to kill everybody in this goddamn series for what they pulled. No, 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 no. I, this is just me. Some people might be happy with it. I am not. Man, <laughs> was, you have you have killed any reason I have to to finish this now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I mean, if you, I, I, I really enjoyed this series. Obviously, we're on two opposite ends. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the way you were talking, man, you're just gonna make yourself mad. Don't you okay. go back up in okay, there? Okay, okay. You stay fine. out of there. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? listen. I will spoil it for y'all, just in case you want to hear. But yeah, we gotta wait to the very end. Double Toasted Live in Los Angeles is going to be Saturday, April 27th for a night of comedy games and that after party. Diversity strikes again, Martin. Ruining everything we got. You know what? We had a fine movie with a couple of fine white people in there, man. <laughs> First Mr. and Mrs. Smith. There wasn't nothing wrong with that. Had some good looking white people up in there. Even from each other. Oh, people, look at that. that was that was you know that movie was it was just fine. You say fine looking white people, the the best looking white people. I know the creme de la white creme <laughs> that we have up in there, man. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Yeah. No, now who want to go and mess with that? Now somebody decide now 2024 because of diversity. Now we got to get all interracial with it. <laughs> you know, couldn't even make one of them white. Had to make one of them half white. And then got Donald Donald Glover his black ass up in there, man. What? What's, what, what, what was wrong with the last uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith that we had? Well, I'll tell you what, probably a lot, because I didn't care for it a whole lot myself. Yeah, I thought it was all right. I thought, yeah, I, if anything, I thought it was just okay. But I don't think I liked it too much. But I know the movie is beloved by a lot yeah, of people yeah, out yeah. there. Uh, but, you know, with this new one, we do have, you know, we have two attractive people here, too. Two very attractive people uh, also. Uh, you got Donald Glover who plays John Smith, and then you got that lovely young lady right there, uh, Maya Erskine. Who er Erskine. Er Erskine, who plays uh, Jane Smith. And it's sort of the same premise as we had with the, uh, with the 2005 original. Now, the 2005 original, you had this couple that was uh, employed by a mysterious agency, a uh, company, and in, the, in their business is to be spies. But for their cover... They got to be married. Right. It, it, but they didn't know each other were spies. Exactly. You just got teamed up together. You know, that they're almost like when you, you know, you get teamed up with a partner at work or something, except here you got to marry him and process. You know, <laughs> so, which is not so hard when you look as good as these people yeah, right exactly. here. Exactly. I mean, who wouldn't, <laughs> right? Uh, same here, man. Uh, these people get teamed up together. Uh, at first, it's a little awkward because they are supposed to be a married couple and not into each other that much. But then, and plus, they try to kill each other sometimes. But then, uh, you know, you put people in the same space for long enough, you know, some something, something's gonna happen. Especially on TV. <laughs> Especially on TV. <laughs> you you put uh, a, a couple together, whether they're a couple or not. If they in the room together by themselves long enough, they're gonna have sex. Oh yeah, well, that's just how it happens, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we we are animals. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's why people talking about. It. That's why this is interracial right here. That's the world right now. I don't know what people talk about. Oh man, you know. I listen. I'm gonna tell you something. This is an aside right here. I don't care how many of these races want to like split up. Hey, you gonna get at least one that'll be like, damn, I'm sure and curious what's on the other side. <laughs> right. Can I just go over there real quick and come back? <laughs> no, y'all understand. She's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was also a TV show I heard besides this one. I did not was know there? that. Was there a TV show? Uh, was there a, a, a TV show before? The movie, somebody said that in the chat. I did not know that, uh, if, that was, if that is the case. Mm. But anyway, we have another show right here. Uh, something is going to happen. You know, the last, with Angelina Jolie, they were together for two hours. <laughs> and they couldn't help each other. You got these people here for eight, uh, eight, eight episodes. Yeah, yeah. Does that actually make it better? At least for people like me who didn't care for the movie a whole lot? Not speaking for the people that did. And maybe for those that did like the movie. Maybe this is something that expands on that story and even makes it better for you, too. Or not. Maybe they should have just left well enough alone. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what is, last I checked, number two show on Amazon. Might be number one now, for all we know. People are talking about this. So I finally decided to get on here and check this out myself. 
especially since we got some episodes beforehand. I didn't I didn't have time to watch them. I forgot about it actually. Mm -hmm. So, and I love uh, Donald Lover, man. I love Atlanta. So I'm very curious to see what he could do producing a spy series. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon. And we'll be back with our review. It's just a job. It is not life and death. <laughs> oh, if only she knew, Martin. Oh, <laughs> silly her. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> you know what, Martin? I'm going to do something a little different here. Since yeah. you only watched four episodes, because it is long, people. You know, I mean, it's, it's an investment to watch all of this. I'm, you know, fortunately, I was able to watch all of this. Was it worth the time? Well, you know what? I'm going to let Martin kind of give your impression since you only saw four episodes oh. and that way I can hear what you thought about your four okay. and then I can expand on that, you know, by telling you about the, the rest of the series that I saw. Oh, okay. Wow. Cool. Uh, yeah. So uh, as far as uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> John. John. Thank oh. you. Uh, John and Jane go uh, as the two characters uh, right off the bat. I found myself not crazy about either one of them. Um, they're kind of flat, really. They are too millennial for their own good. They're so millennial that they seem to like not put much focus on the actual job they're supposed to do. It's an interesting thing because, you know, it's it's got that Atlanta ness to it, but like mm -hmm. Atlanta was uh, mm -hmm. was a very <clears throat> a, a very ordinary setup where a lot of out of the ordinary things mm -hmm. happen. That was like what kind of pulled you in, especially, you know, you get a, an episode like with the, like the Teddy episode or just, just different things, like you kind of never knew it was gonna come in. Where this is sort of the opposite, where you have a fantastic setup here and it goes out of its way to just focus on everything that's mundane. And I guess that's the, the trick of it, but I just found myself not liking John that much and really not liking Jane. Um, yeah, they, 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 uh, they, their focus is all about, huh, she gets really petty most of the time. And, and I know like the, the idea, the premise is like, hey, they're spies, but this is really focused on marriage and it's a statement about mm -hmm. marriage and all. But I was like, man, I, I, I get what you're, what you're saying, what you're you know, alluding at. But so much of the setups, they feel so set up, so put on, like the the dinner party they have with the other couple. Mm -hmm. I was like, if this could move a little faster, or there's just something about it. It feels like like it it, it feels manufactured. So much of it. I I will say that <clears throat> it seems like every episode does have something that I find exciting. Yeah, but that's like five minutes and another forty minutes where I'm I'm kind of watching it like this. Yeah. And just, you know, every time I, I kept thinking like, well, the next episode, the next one, the next one. Yeah. And by the time I got that fourth one. Yeah. I, I had a moment in one of the episodes. I was like, man, this show. Uh, but, you know, it went me back a little bit, but it was always like, all right. I, I wish it was shorter. I, w I wish it was 30 minutes instead of 45. You so. know, I think you hit on something interesting here by saying that you didn't like the, the couple or you found them millennials. Uh, you know, you, the, the relationship was mundane to you because I think that that's what's going to make it a break for people, because that's what I found interesting about it. Uh, kind of, yeah, kind of, kind of, you know, because I can see what you're saying. But that was that was that's what was what was working for me. Yeah, because, you know, I, I think, as I mentioned, you know what uh, the the original. I don't know how much I like this movie. I don't think I hated it, but. I just remember I wasn't I wasn't crazy about it. it wasn't yeah, it's, like one it's, of my, a, it's a little silly, a little too much. Yeah, it was just something about it where I just kind of like, yeah, it's just it's just not this just not for me. But it's it's all right. Uh, this as a as a series, I think works better for exploring the characters and exploring the relationships uh, uh, between them. Are you know and and exploring their relationship in a in a in a, in a, in a more clever way. So this is eight episodes. Apparently four episodes drags for you, but eight, at, at, eight, at eight episodes, you know, listen, it's going to drag at some point, uh, pr probably, you know, and, and that's that's fine, whatever. Uh, but I do think this is what I'm talking about with the relationship and, I, and, and me finding that interesting, because I do think that the eight episode length wasn't necessary for the show, because 
every episode, the action was intertwined with uh, uh, with 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 their theme of relationships. Are it was parallel that was something that was going on in their relationship. You know, the action and uh, uh, also some of the situations that were set ups were, were either a, a statement about their relationship. And I kind of liked the way they did that. I thought that that was, I thought that was really cool. Uh, that, you know, their everything that they were doing with this, with their spy job was almost a statement about their marriage or relationship or whatever it is that they had going on. Yeah. Whatever they are calling it because they spend the first episode barely liking each other. The second one, with her being still more resistant, only for them to come together. And then third episode, oh, we're in love. I was like, wow, what? Well, see, I I, I guess I related to that because, you know, I, I think for people looking for a more conventional spy story, definitely this is something that's going to throw you off. But looking at the, uh, at the way that the, the phases of their relationship went on, it was almost like a natural way the relationship builds, except these people were forced to be together and forced to have it happen. Uh, Man, I wish I could. I, I wish I could agree with that. I mean, I wish yeah, I felt uh, the same uh, way. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying I disagree. I'm just saying it didn't feel that way. To no, me I, and I know that. I'm just saying how they, you know, no, no, I'm not no, even no. saying you're wrong for that. Yeah. I'm just saying that. That's why I'm saying different people. If you're going in, you know, you're going to get different experiences looking at this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, especially with them focusing so much on them as a couple, because. For one, you know, you're talking about how she's unrelatable. Now, see, this is this is where it kind of gets complicated when you don't get to see the episodes because they ex a lot of these things that you're talking about that seem like flaws with these characters being written, they address that with them as characters within the show. Okay. Like her being unlikable is a trait that they address. Okay. Within the show, uh, it's not it's not it's something that's not done by. You know, the, by bad writing, or they didn't. You know, they, you know, they they didn't know what they were doing. Is they knew that was in, that they they knew exactly they were, what they were doing by making her the way she is. Uh, I I guess what's bothering me is that she's the way she is, and he's not calling her on it. Maybe he, it happens later. He, but, they, but I'm like, is this is too much going by? But I was, you going, hey man, listen, we we're in this together. What? Why are you acting this way? They, 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 everything you're saying right here, it eventually happens. Okay. You know, I, I'm, again, I'm not trying to spoil too much either. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But all that happens. I think what's, when you, when you take a spy show like this, and especially when you, when you pitch this and market this by showing them doing a bunch of James Bond stuff, and they show a bunch of action, they show a bunch of gunplay, a bunch of ex explosions, you know, these are things that you probably expect within the show. But the show, it, 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 you know, the, with, with them focusing on them as a couple, it affects the pacing to the point where that's you're getting you're getting more of that exploring th these characters as a couple than you are of getting the spy stuff in the action. Yes. And 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 the, the, if you're with them as a couple, then it's good because the steady pace helps the chemistry with those two. You know, the working relationship starts awkward, so it's so it's taking this time showing them go through these different phases of their relationship. Um, also, you were saying it has that Atlanta feel to it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is episodic. Sometimes it has this surreal feel to it. Sometimes, you know, some, it gives you all these different tones anywhere from being comedic to kind of creepy. Uh, so it's, you know, again, not your conventional spy show. But uh, I do think that each episode does have action in it. You know, it's not like they're neglecting it. Each episode has an action sequence in there. Uh, they got stealth missions, rescues, shootouts. Uh, episode, I think it was three and maybe four. There was an episode where I love that one because they were spying on another married couple. Mm -hmm. And then because they were doing that, they got caught up in like having to do a last minute, you know, some last minute side mission that they never expected. Yeah, that's and the I, third episode. Yeah, that's the third episode. And I love that sequence that they did in there. I mean, that was some true James Bond shit going on. No, no. And that's the thing. But like, there was so much in that episode where I was like, yeah, I'm not digging this. That doesn't make sense. Why did she do that just there? Me and my wife were talking about that. Like, there was so many other ways to handle this. But getting to that part right there where I was just, I was almost completely checked out. And I was like, and it gets to that part. And I was like. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. You 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 kind of giving me something's getting back on track, and it's not like I need the action because I'm like yeah. I get it. The action's supposed to be secondary, tertiary. Yeah. It's all about the couple. It's just that I don't like hanging with them as a couple. I you know I tell you I did. For one, you know I think there was still when you get later into this, there's a lot of episodes that still catch you off guard with the spy stuff that happens because I got to a point I was like I don't trust nobody in this shit. Yeah. Because you you never know when something's gonna turn and they, as you get into it, 
they, as the, the, the deeper they get with the job, those things happen. Those mm. things pop up. Those surprises pop up. Uh, but, you know, it's just that the action is just not always the highlight. You know, as as I said, as this, this is meant to focus on them as characters in a couple. You know, I I just saw it a different way. Yeah. I saw them going through so many, you know, the different phases of relationships that I felt like I had been through when I started dating somebody up until like even though I married someone, you know, they're going through, you know, the dating phase. Very awkward when they first meet. Uh, finally, marriage, the honeymoon phase, right down to the I'm sick of your ass phase, mm-hmm. which very much hits hard later on in, in the series. Uh, and to, and what is really interesting here is that when they get into that, I'm, I'm sick of your ass phase, where somebody can be like, you know, uh, you need to get the hell out, or I'm moving, or let's get a divorce. Uh, here, it's heavily implied that it ain't that simple. You get divorced and you try to separate, that could have some serious consequences on them. So as their relationship gets rockier, mm-hmm. as the series goes, the more dangerous it gets for them. Either one or both of them at the time. And believe me, as uh, the show goes on, they quickly become an old, bickering ass couple, man. They like, like they, you know, you talk about millennials. By the time you, you listen, you saw the millennial phase. You missed the time they turned to the boomers, <laughs> okay. which, which was like about episode uh, uh, seven or maybe even eight. You, you don't have allergies. Just be a person and drink fluids. Fine, it's allergies. More than that, we're all getting nauseous. Why don't y'all get take <laughs> with no charge uh now i can understand where again i get it man where that bickering and them uh, constantly going at each other that could be annoying to some people such as yourself i get that i do i do i guess you know it depends on who you are it, it worked for me because i found it i found it funny that they were bringing these relationship problems into the job because they're in the middle of a mission right here right. you know they're, they're like there's so many missions that they do and i think that that's the joke of the movie is that you know they because they uh, in the in the in the show. That's I think it's just a movie. I mean show. When in the show, not only are they is their relationship at stake, their lives at stake, but um, it's meant to have them just keep going at each other because they tell them with this uh, organization here. You know y'all got you get three chances to fail. Right. And you know the third one, you better get your shit together because the third one, you know, then, then you know, you know, I think y'all can figure it out. Yeah. It, <laughs> you then, know. then you're somebody else's mission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, which I found that that I love the spy concepts here. That's another thing. I love this mysterious organization, man. You know, you never see a face behind the instructions or the text. Uh, again, this whole rule of getting three chances and you're out. Uh, I think it's interesting hearing how other Smiths work out mm-hmm. there. I love that episode with uh, with the uh, 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 Wagner Mora, yeah, and Parker Posey. Uh, they're a pair of more experienced Smiths. They start out very charming and then they, well, I won't say anything. They start out very charming and then things take a really bizarre turn. Uh, and it's in the, and that's where the episode starts to feel like Atlanta because- uh, Very much. Yeah, things get kind of, things get very awkward and then things get kind of kind of uh, uh, uneasy and, and then things feel kind of creepy after a moment because there's, you know, they, these people are friendly, but they always give them this like this, this double talk. You know, ins- like insinuating certain things, but smiling the whole time. Plus, they were great. I thought mm-hmm. Parker they Posey. And, uh, that's the guy that was in Narcos. Oh, okay. Who played Pablo Escobar. Oh, that's him. Okay. Yeah, he was a little chubby in that. He got yeah, all yeah, handsome yeah, for this. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Man, he got all chiseled. Man, it's almost like somebody took a chisel and just went at his cheeks. Right, right. Well, also, he doesn't have the facial hair, the, the prosthetics and all. No, that's that's true. Oh, that's the dude. That's the dude that was Puss in Boots. Uh, I'm sorry, Death. He was oh, death in Puss yeah, in yeah, Boots. yeah. Shit, he kind of does that in a way. Oh, you know, I like I said, man. I now, there is one thing that really bothered me here. Okay, now I'll tell you what. What the, the, this is the thing that knocked off a whole point for me. Um, like I said, I thought all the episodes were necessary, but it did it did make things drag a little bit. But the biggest complaint that I have is the ending. The ending felt like a cop out, man. Now, unless they do a second season, all right, I see what you're doing. But if they stop right here, yeah. it's like no, f- off, man. No, don't, no. You bet, no, no, no. I know, I know you're not gonna do me like this right now, all right? Man, I wouldn't be surprised because that uh, that that last show he did for Amazon about the the Beyonce stalker, oh. it had the worst ending. Man, it's something. 
damn boy, you wrote you, you wrote eight episodes. You can't write uh-huh. two more minutes uh-huh. to show us something, but because the show looks it looks great, man. They gave them money. Uh, they go to all these locations. I mean, it's 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 beautiful, man. I think the fight scenes are in the in the gunplay is it, choreography is amazing. I think the stunts are well done. They, they, you know, they, there's a lot of like it's a lot of money with explosions and car chases. The locations are beautiful. It's just a really, really good looking show, man. And you know, for for all that they were doing, I, that, it, you're right, man. It's a very Donald Glover thing to, to do with, with the way they ended this. I, I wish I could tell y'all, man. But listen, I have no problem with the ambiguous endings or artistic endings and whatnot. But the way they did that, I, there might be some people out there who are fine with it. I ain't the one. Okay, <laughs> I ain't the one. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to kill everybody in this goddamn series for what they pulled. No, 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 no. I, this is just me. Some people might be happy with it. I am not. Man, <laughs> was, you have you have killed any reason I have to to finish this now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I mean, if you, I, I, I really enjoyed this series. Obviously, we're on two opposite ends. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the way you were talking, man, you're gonna make yourself mad. Don't you okay, go back up in okay, there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Stay out of there. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, you know, listen. I will spoil it for y'all, just in case you want to hear. But yeah, I, we got to wait to the very end because I don't want. I, I do not want to. Sp- it's already out. If it was before this was out, I wouldn't say shit. But I will. I'm gonna spoil it for y'all right now. So let me just go ahead and get my rating for this. Highly enjoyed this. Um, uh, you know, and, and again, understand that I do know where you're coming from because this the, the way these things are paced and the way they focus on certain things it will not appeal to everybody. Yeah, and so it just didn't appeal to you. You know, the things that didn't appeal to you appealed to me. So whatever, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I, I whatever, get it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would, but I, you know, the, the relationship part of this I really did enjoy. I did think they had uh, chemistry. Uh, you, you know, and I don't know. It's a personal thing. Maybe it's because I just, like I said, I related to all the different phases they went through. But uh, and I really did enjoy watching them. Donald Glover and uh, what's her name? Maya S. S. Erskine. Erskine. I really did enjoy watching them together, man. Oh, and so many good. And I, I thought they were holding this as a, a secret. But there's so many great guest appearances in this. Uh, Ron Perlman. It opens up with Alexander Skarsgård. Mm-hmm. Um uh, 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 you know, you, what's whatever her name is, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson, yeah, yeah. I mean, they just I mean, they, Paulson, yeah. They just keep coming and coming, man. And so great, some great guest appearances in here. I really enjoyed uh, wa- watching it for that. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of gave me everything I needed, except that 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 ending, man. And it did drag a little bit in some spots. So because of that, I'm gonna give this uh, uh, a matinee. Probably leaning towards high matinee, but I, I did enjoy it. matinee. Yeah, it's a it's a straight up rental for me. This is the only place I could see watching it, and I'm even having troubles, you know, sitting through it, uh, watching it at home as a as a as a rental as a streaming. Um, yeah, with I like I said, with every episode, well, okay, with the exception of I'm only, only seen four. I can say like with the second episode, they not only didn't have anything I didn't like, they had something I thought was going to be gold, and it was ruined. I mean, you know, that's the John Turturro episode and, mm-hmm. and he's ranting and, you know, for a, a reason. But I was like, man, none of this is funny. And I, I can tell that it's supposed to be. It's just it's just it's, it's just gibberish. Uh, but every other episode, it usually has, like I said, uh, some kind of sequence that I like, but also something that I really don't like. And yeah, like I, I have to take your word for it that uh, that Jane's character you know, redeems herself or comes around because because I didn't say redeem. Well, okay, but, but it gets explained. there's a lot of explained. But with you, I don't think it's gonna help. Yeah, I yeah. think you're gonna be like so <laughs> <laughs> about your feelings. Well, if, like I said, like when I say it's yeah, it's millennial. It's and I'm not putting millennials down, but is that that thing where there's such a, a focus on minutia that's not what's important? And I get how that's the the joke of the show. Sort of, but it's not even that funny of a joke, and and it and it undercuts everything else. I, I always feel as I watch it, I was like, man, there's a way to pull off what they're doing, and there's just not enough agility here to do it correctly. And I don't know if it's budget or inexperience or just thinking like, oh, we're nailing it, and you're sort of not, at least for me anyway. But yeah, yeah it's a it's an enthusiastic <clears throat> rental. Well, I mean, and the other thing is like you know you hear. 
you hear it was saying that these there are certain things that appeal to people and certain things that don't. Between the both of us, you can figure what appeals to you and mm-hmm. what doesn't. So if it, you know, if there's uh, uh, if what I'm saying, especially with their relationship, appeals to you, then that's something you might want to see. If you're more into like probably. Again, anywhere from a more cons- conventional spy story to like just not watching people that you think will might that might annoy you, then uh, you know you know you know what to do. Uh, but I, I I really think this was well directed too. You know, uh, not every episode was directed by the same person. Some of them were directed uh, by the hero Mirai. Yeah, 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 hero Mirai, which I really love those episodes. But I thought this was really well directed and uh, pretty well acted too. But yeah, uh, like I said, that that ending just kind of got to me. Now, and if you want to know the ending, uh, I'll tell you right now. And for those who have seen the ending, maybe some of you will agree with me and maybe some of you won't. And, I, and I'm not even saying this to challenge you, but if you did like it, tell me what you liked about it. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll see more into it and maybe I'll change my mind, maybe I won't. But I am in- interested to get more insight on that. So, uh, do you mind hearing this? <laughs> He's like, Are you no. kidding? <laughs> I'm what, living for this. What did I just say? <laughs> so, at the end, so Jane is moving up. Because she's kind of taking a lot of the credit for these missions. So the, this organization is saying, we're going to level you up. Now, we got to level you up. You got to get a new John. And you know what to do with the old John. So she has to kill oh. uh, Donald Glover's character, John Smith. So they have a, yeah, and you can see some of it in this 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 trailer right here where they, you know, they are, they're going at it, man. You know, they, you saw them out in public shooting each other, shooting at each other and, you know, uh, tearing up the public and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, it's a. Uh, let's see here where we're at. So anyway, yeah, they uh, she has she's she agrees. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah. You know, I got to take him out. And, and she does. They go at each other. They're trying to kill each other. Uh, like right there. She's trying to blow his ass up in, a <laughs> in the middle of a revolving door. So. After retali- you know, go- retaliating against each other and fighting each other, and, and, and it's almost like the ending of uh, the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're just going at it, man, tearing up that house, shooting at each other. Uh, they, uh, Donald Glover's character, uh, John, he finally gives them a, a truth serum, which they used against John Turturro earlier. Mm-hmm. And it has him confessing everything that is going on with them. Did they really love each other? Did she really love him, even though she's trying to kill him? Was all this just fake? It turns out they really did have a lot of feelings for each other. You know, she's just kind of doing a job. Plus, it's revealed that she's a sociopath. And that's why she's been so hard to. <laughs> OK. Yeah. that's what, She admits it. She's like, listen, this is this is why I've been so hard to deal with, because they go to counseling. Uh-huh. Uh, at first, it seemed like they both have problems, but it's, it becomes clear that she's the problem. OK. So she 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 doesn't want to get close with anyone. She doesn't. Uh, this really made her feel bad because she did not want to be in this situation and have it become romantic. Uh-huh. But she ended up like falling in love with him. Uh and this was kind of her way to just getting out of it was kill him. <laughs> so, okay, okay. so she admits like, yeah, I'm crazy and I feel, and I'm I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I I do love you. I could have shot you a couple of times, but I missed on purpose because I just you know I didn't want to kill you. I just held back. Um, and at that moment, while they're on truth serum, uh, these assholes come in. And they're like, yeah, we've been instructed to take you out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, and they and they love it too. I mean, to come in talking that smarmy shit they were earlier. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is gonna be fun. You know, we really didn't like you guys, but hey, you know, uh, it's just business. Hey, sit down, it'll be easier. Well, and that, so, that whole episode with them, the fourth episode, felt like they were setting them up to, to yeah, kill him. He, he reveals that, yeah, well, the moment that y'all came onto the scene, and the moment we, this was not, not none of this was an accident. You think two other Smiths showed up, uh-huh. or, you know, just coincidentally? Yeah. You're like, no, we were. This company knows every move you're going to make before you make it. We knew where to be before you got there. We knew what you were going to buy before you got there. Uh, we knew how to like have you invite us over, you know, everything. So they say, yeah. So, you know, now we're here to kill you. Uh, tables are, uh, are turned okay. on them. Uh, he gets some glass in his eye. Uh, Donald Lover, John, he he runs off and they both were able to, you know, because of the, of the distraction, they're both able to get their guns. And at the end, it looks like, oh, shit, Smiths against Smiths. It's on now. Oh, yeah. Show these assholes what's up. And then they get ready to bust out. And they're like, well, something the effect of, well, uh, whatever happens, happens. We're in this together, though, right? Love you, love you, too. And it looks like they're about to turn around and have the biggest shootout in the show. And then it pulls out to outside. And you see the darkness on the window and you just see it light up a few times. Pat, 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 pat. Directed by Donald Glover. I was like, you. <laughs> I'm like, I know you ain't. Oh, and then it came back. 
it came back because your man popped up. Let Paul Dano. Paul, yeah, Paul, Paul Dano. Yeah, let me. Paul Dano's in the show. Yeah, Paul Dano is a he's a he's a, he's a it's revealed that he's a realtor. Okay. So because he says I'm an agent, and Donald Glover's like, you, well, you, my wife, you, well, you an agent? You come here to kill us? You coming to kill me? He's like, no, I'm a realtor. We've been looking at your place because we know y'all can't afford this shit the way it is. Y'all oh. got y'all got a pool up in there. You okay. know, you got a garage. <laughs> okay. You know, you got everything that none of these houses on this block have. Uh-huh. And all the way you could get this if you were a Saudi prince or something. So he's like, yeah. You Right, I'm looking at you guys. I'm trying to sell this place. Uh-huh. I'm trying to get y'all to get out. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> okay. so, so, but uh, at the end, after you find, he comes in after the place has been shut up and like, all right, well, here we go, man. It ain't done yet. He's going to walk in the middle of a shootout. No, he walks in, sees everything messed up and everything shut up. And he's like, <laughs> hey, guess what, buddy? I think they want to sell. Back to the credits, man. <laughs> I was like, off, man. <laughs> so you go, not all you go, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Burr. Not all. <laughs> <laughs> So not only are you gonna cheap out and cop out on this uh, on this you mean you tell you couldn't give us one last scene? Yeah. You not only not only you gonna cop out on that, but you're gonna lend in with a lame ass joke too. <laughs> Paul Dano walking away. Smile wanna see that fool. <laughs> oh man, oh, oh, man. Now, boy. now if they go to a second, and y'all better do this. If y'all go to a second season, great. All right, fine. You set it up. Then they'll probably pick it up where they left off. What's left for the couple to do? Uh, well, kill them because it wasn't it wasn't clear if they if they actually if they were if they were killed or they killed. Sure, sure. Okay, say they killed them. All right, it's not like the company's going to go like, well, okay, you you get another chance. It's hinted that she uh, they, they either she's pregnant or they want a baby. Okay, chances. I don't think she's pregnant, but I think they want a baby. So, you know. It could be that they're on the run from the organization because when the show opened up, Alexander Skarsgård, they were on the run from the organization. Uh, So they could be the next couple on the run, this time with a baby. Right. And they're trying to figure out how to get out of this situation. Or you get to see who's actually heading up the company Mm -hmm. and whatnot. So listen, that's why I'm not complaining too much. If they do a second season and they can, they really can, then that's awesome. You know, we'll pick it up where we left off. Good. You know, you you, want to leave us in suspense on a cliffhanger. Gotcha. You better do that. Second season, though, because if you don't, I'm going to be mad as hell. Uh, uh, life hack. If your girlfriend admits to you that she's a psychopath, it's time to break up. Yeah, well, <laughs> you ain't got a show. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they talked it out to where, listen, she'll get help for it. You know, she'll oh, try okay. to. Yeah, because because they, you know, they because they, they talked it out in a way, you know, <laughs> she, she even said, yeah, I'm crazy. She said, I she says, I've been keeping secrets from you. She says, I'm uh, I'm a sociopath. And. Every time I do something sociopathic, I have to put a marble in a jar. And he's like, well, how many marbles have you put in a jar? You're like 48. <laughs> 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 <laughs>